So folks, we are back with Sinking Survival. This is the SS Waratall. This is a awesome ship uh, that apparently capsized in a hurricane, or at least that's the theory that's going around. I believe the ship is dated 1909. You know, we typically check out ships that are kind of from this time period, morally from like the 20s, 30s, into the 40s. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely a little bit of an earlier vessel. It definitely looks different than the other ones. Now, this ship does have a, uh, a very nice interior, very nice sink modes. Uh, we probably will reenact the hurricane, so we're going to put it in as tough of conditions as possible. And it does look like we do have uh, lifeboats here, so that's going to be our method of escape. I don't know if they're all active. Uh, they, well, actually, I think they are. They all look like they have control panels, so that's definitely a thing. So the main helm is up there at the top. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and travel down. This is probably officer quarters. Oh, those are locked on. Let's go down maybe uh, to the general areas. Uh, maybe there's like a main staircase. Here we go. Uh, so here is one of the staircases right towards the front. Are these crew quarters? These are deck cabins. Uh, pretty small little cabins. I don't know if they have like any like first class style cabins in this thing. Uh, we'll have to uh, explore it. So yeah, we're going to do the tour first. Uh, be sure to hit that thumbs up button for some more Stormwork Sinking Survival. And then we will get to the sink. I like the way they did these hulls. Uh, a lot of times they use like a, a wallpaper, almost like texture. But these actually look like physical. Like you can see the squares in the wall. So we're kind of going there, seeing there's a lot of locked doors on this ship. Looks like you have one of the dining rooms here. Definitely doesn't have that... I would say, I don't want to call it the Titanic feel or kind of like along the lines of that style of ship where it's got the huge ballrooms in it. Uh, it really does seem more of just kind of like a functional ship. You got your basic cabins. Uh, I'm not even really sure there's a first class section. Where does this go? Oh, this is the aft staircase. Uh, a lot of these cabins, I think the cabins that are locked, there's probably not anything in there. Uh, wait, where does this go? All right, so we have like a, oh, this is kind of a nice area here. Maybe this is a little lounge. Uh, oh, the smoking room. And then you can get out onto the front deck. Uh, we'll go towards there. I'm wondering if... Actually, this is not the front. We are at the rear of the ship. That was odd. Like, I walked out. I could have swore we were at the front. So, yeah. Uh, a lot of times the smoking rooms do seem to be on the rear of the ship itself. Hold on. Let's turn the lights on in here. Uh, very nice looking, though. Hold on. Does this lead? No, that is just the wall. I was thinking maybe that led somewhere. All right. So, we can walk down this way. So, here we can open the staircase up. So we're back out on the... Oh, that's weird. Wait, did the door just glitch into itself? Oh, there it goes. Uh, so yeah, we're out on one of the kind of lower decks here. Uh, a lot of detail in this ship still. It uh, doesn't run that bad. Uh, like I said, there is interior. It's not like chalked full. Uh, there's definitely some blank areas in here, but the ship runs amazing. So if you're somebody that has uh, maybe not as good of a computer and you want to run a larger ship, this is definitely probably what you want to do, or check this one out. Han, there is another lounge up here. What is this? Oh, the music saloon. All right, I can get down with this. This looks really nice up here, nice and cozy. I like the seats, there's a piano here. Uh, you kind of got a, a view, is that a, another dining? That looks like another dining room down below us. There's actually quite a few decks here. Uh, here, let's go down another one. These are still the same cabins. Yeah, this was the same area. I just didn't notice that there was a hole there. Okay. And then you got like a nice little glass uh, ceiling right there. Uh, or dome. Let's turn on the saloon lights. I like this. I like this a lot. Another uh, little piano down here too. All right, so let's head towards the front of the ship real quick. Uh, very nice design. All your uh, storage is down here. Probably crew quarters up here towards the front. A lot of these look like they're going to be locked. Uh, and then, of course, we could travel up to the front of the ship here. Uh, one thing I do notice about this particular ship, it seems to sit lower. Like, when I'm aboard a lot of the other ships, you definitely seem like you're a lot taller, maybe a lot higher out of the water. I don't know how that's going to affect it, especially once it gets into big waves. Uh, which, speaking of, we are about to go into hurricane conditions. Uh, I want to do some uh, last-minute prepping, and we're going to go up to uh, the main helm, and we're going to see how this thing handles it. Now, there is no land in sight. I think it's time for a little transition. Here we go. Oh, holy man. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, those waves are massive. Dude, they're already going over the front of the ship. Okay, we hit like the perfect area for this. On, oh, Let's lock ourselves here in the helm or the wheelhouse. Uh, we're going to need to fight these. I'm not even 
sure this ship's going to be able to stay up here. Uh, hold on. Let's turn into the waves. These things are absolutely massive. Uh, all the lifeboats are already loose, it looks like. I thought maybe they were uh, on a magnet on the deck. And Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We might tip over. This was... Uh, I know it capsized, but it, I don't think it capsized this quick. Yeah, we are stuck in hurricane conditions here. I don't think I'm having any influence over the uh, the steering here. I'm trying to steer it into the waves or with the waves. Uh, that way, maybe the water just washes over the back and doesn't tip the ship over. Uh, we'll need to do some checks inside. This is pretty awesome looking, though. I like this a lot. Oh, jeez. Dude, I can't even steer this at all. Like, I feel like I have zero influence right now. Uh, come on. Let's go this way. Oh, it's got a whistle on it. Hold on. Oh, it's just one of the normal horns. Uh, I'm trying to turn it. I don't see. Okay, there's islands to the left. So if there was any sort of logical uh, way to try to get out, it would be over there. Uh, yeah, I would be firing off flares. I didn't see an equipment room. It's not to say there isn't one. Maybe right around the wheel house where we're at. Uh, by the way, I finally got the ship turned, so we're good there. All right, uh, we probably need to go do a status check. I want to stand out on the deck, but I feel like this might not be a good idea. I might get washed off here. Dude, this is <laughs> intense. Holy man. Like, the uh, the waves are almost as tall as the stacks here. Okay, there is a lot of water washing over that front deck. I don't think the ship's taking on water anywhere, though. Uh, so I think we're good in that sense, but this thing feels like it's wanting to capsize. Uh, we should probably head down. Is there a good way down? Oh, you have to pretty much use the ladders here, and that's <laughs> it's not ideal. All right, well, uh, let's go ahead and just hop over real quick. Don't fall off the deck, please. Oh, dude, you could wash right off this thing. All right, go this way. Let's try to get on the side that isn't leaning. Like, you couldn't even use the lifeboats on this side right now. Uh, it's that bad. All right, let's go ahead. Okay, those are locked. Uh, we need to get down into the ship. Oh, just when I say that, the waves are coming this way. No, 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 no. Uh, I can't even walk. Come on. There it goes. A little burst of speed. All right, let's enter through the back, the smoking room. Uh, let's just kind of observe and make sure nothing's leaking at the moment. I didn't see an actual boiler room, which maybe that's not built into this particular ship. Uh, so I don't think we'll be able to figure out if there's any water. Like, it's going to be your lowest point, I'm sure. Uh, we won't be able to see how, if there's any water there. The lowest point of the... Oh, geez, that went right through. Oh, this is insane being in this hall uh, as it's trying to tip over here. Uh, let's see. How do we get to the front? Okay, we are in the front. Uh, looking down, I think everything is pretty much sealed up, but we are getting into even deeper and rougher waters. Uh, you can see how far this thing truly list over. It's amazing it hasn't tipped yet. Uh, but yeah, I think it's only going to be a matter of time. I don't even know if you would even want to get out. If this thing really sank in a hurricane, like, how do you even get off on a lifeboat here? Okay, I'm back in the wheelhouse. Uh, things are not looking too good right now. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> um, things are really not looking too good. Hold on. Oh, she's trying to tip. Did we just hit, get hit by a rogue wave? Yo! Where did that even come? Uh oh. Um... Okay, that's not good. Hold on. She's going to come back up, I think. That is a... Uh, is that a tsunami or rogue wave? I, I can't really tell. The, the normal waves right now are so massive that there's not really too much of a dis difference. Uh, we didn't flip over, though. Uh, so we're good. Dude, that wave just pounded the side of us. Hold on. Open this up. Uh, okay, we're still alive. This is still a thing. Um, no signs of it actually sinking at the moment, which is good. But, you know what? We probably better look at the operation of those lifeboats. I mean, they all have panels on it, so I think they can all go. But, just to be sure, uh, that might want to be a thing. Oh, we've just flew. Okay, let's take a look at these things. Oh, geez. Okay, getting a little too much momentum back this way. Um, is there a seat in those? No, I think they're loose. Hold on, let's make sure. Lower boat, raise boat, dab it controls. Wait, how do you drop it? Uh, do you have to manually unhook them? Oh, there's a chance that is a thing. Uh, that's not too pretty there, is it? Uh, detach. Uh, okay, there goes that one. Yeah, that's gonna be a pain for anybody, uh, to actually launch these things. Oh! Um, yeah, I think it's- there's no hope of getting into those. Oh, man. Uh, we are really- look at that wave horn! Get up against the wall here! Oh, okay, don't get washed off the side! 
Uh, the wheel house might be the safest place for us right now. Oh, there. Here comes another one. Okay. We're going to get washed overboard here. Uh-oh. Here comes another one. That's another massive one. Um, yeah, we're tipping. Oh, we're capsizing rapidly right now. Okay. Um, maybe the safest place is to find a spot on the inside. Nope. Here it goes. Dude. Okay. It's completely on its side there. Uh-oh. Uh we are stuck in between the decks here. Wait, is it going down? What? Um. Oh, there it goes. What in the heck? Dude, that thing went down so fast. All right, these waves that we're in are absolutely insane. Well, I didn't read how fast it supposedly went down, but that was awfully fast. I know it was hurricane conditions. I think it's at the bottom of the ocean. Um, I almost kind of want to go visit that. All right, let's calm down the hurricane conditions. There she goes. She is at the bottom. Uh, we need to go look at it real quick. How far were we even from the, uh, where we spawned? We spawned at the oil rig. I don't even see it. Yeah, there's not much survival you can do on this one. That went down so quick. And if it goes down in the actual conditions, which I think we're going to respawn it and do a normal sink on it. Yeah, it just filled right up with water. Look at how the uh, the lifeboats that are hardly attached. Uh, like, they're just trying to float to the surface here. That's actually amazing looking. Haunt, is there... Is it full on the inside? Or is there an air pocket in here? No, I think... Wait. Did the inside actually flood? Haunt, let's go maybe towards the front. Uh, let's go into here. If I were to go into here, what would happen? Oh, yep. No, it's definitely full of water. That and the pressure's so bad down here. All right, well, we died. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna hit the button for the normal sink here. Uh, the scripted one. Let's see what it does. Uh, I think it's a cat. Oh, look at that. I actually think we're gonna, is this the opposite direction we tipped in? It's got two large doors there that reenacts its capsizing. It is so quick though. Like you do not have a chance of getting out of this thing. Uh, we'll definitely have to dig into the lore, which, by the way, if you download this, there is a YouTube video that gives uh, quite a bit of story. Uh, it was pretty impressive for the creation, but yeah, definitely does a capsize. Does it go all the way over? We had big waves influencing it, so I'm kind of curious as to what it actually does here. Uh, let's get on the top of it. Uh, does it capsize all the way, or is it just on the side, then goes down? Like, a lot of times with these capsize sinks, you see them completely turn over, and then slowly sinks. I think this one's going down as it's tipping here. So I don't think the waves influenced it that much. Hold on. Can we walk on this side of it? Dude, that's so impressive. I like this. I like it a lot. Uh, yep. It's definitely taken a little bit longer without the waves. Like the waves pushed it down. Okay, we're just running to the back. There it goes. It's starting to disappear. And she's going to go right over. It didn't quite get all the way upside down. Like... Poseidon adventure, but I mean that was pretty cool and then yeah It's gonna slowly go to the bottom of the ocean there. I liked it I like that ship a lot. Like I said, we don't get to see very like early early 1900 ships uh, too often I uh, hear so it's definitely a nice thing to check out